All right, so back to the video, back to the reaction. We got what NBA players think of Cash Nasty. Inspirational in all caps. This is from my guy, Legends Productions. Now, I did watch the flight video. I didn't do a reaction to it, but I seen the flight video. And Flight did a reaction to it. So shout out to Legends. He's out the hood, man. He got Flight's attention. But this is the Cash Nasty edition. So let's see what these NBA players think of top of the key Cash Nasty. Get into it, man. What's good, YouTube? Today I'm back to the video on today. I'm going to be continuing this series of what NBA players think of YouTubers. You guys showed a lot of love on the Flight video, so I have to do a Cash yes, version. And what I see it. Is. Of course, we all know who Cash is, and we know that he's a basketball YouTuber that's taken over the YouTube scene for over the past decade. As a result of this, a lot of NBA players have, of course, noticed the man. Super it's either bashing him this, or this, this love. Right here? This, a lot of NBA that's crazy how time really fly, though. Have, course, that was during the NBA Live event like 2018, 2017, First of all, what better way to start this video than with Giannis Antetokounmpo, who's one of the favorite players. Back in 2019, the two have guys were invited to a Nike event and participated in a mini camp for the oh, yeah, I remember this. That's when out of nowhere, Cash and Jesse got the opportunity to meet Giannis and learn how to perfect his group step. While listening to Giannis though, Cash tried to counter what he said and even offered to take a charge. Hey, so once you leave, well, I could take a charge. Oh, I couldn't do that, right? Smart, smart. Alright. Well, if I know you're the charge, you're the guy that takes charge, so go take a charge. So I'm just going the same way. <laughs> hey, really, with a charge though. Nah, it's not a charge. Yeah, it's not a charge. circle. Yeah. Got a cunpo just running people over. Yeah, Giannis really called. Hey, don't, don't Giannis got a badge this year? His own badge just running people over. Nasty small right there, and that's yeah, that's gonna be to toxic. Two K twenty three is gonna be a toxic game this year, dude. I'm trying to tell y'all. Because if what I seen in that trailer is true, it's over with. Wow, especially everybody's making a LeBron, a Giannis build, a Kevin Durant build, and just start running people over. Cash. He mostly like he's a running, running back. Videos, which is awesome. However, did you know that Paul George is also a big fan of Cash? Well, let's really? go back to 2018. Around this time, Cash and LSK had the opportunity to meet Paul oh, George and even do a wager against him in 2K18. George had always watched Cash Nasty's videos and he knew how good he was in 2K, so he was locked in for this game. The way it pretty much was that if Cash won, he would have received signature shoes from Paul George, but if he lost, then he would just have to run Mike Park to PG and pretty much carry him so he can improve his negative record. And knowing Cash, he had to bring his tryhard mentality early on and do a little trash talking to Paul George. <laughs> However, this ended up happening. Of course, he got LeBron. Yeah, he got LeBron out there on the park with the real Paul George. Oh. Yeah, you lost. <laughs> yeah, you lost. Yeah, guess what? He hit him with that hezzy. That's when he lost. <laughs> Paul George yeah, I see this. Yeah, he's definitely a gamer. The shoes and a new PlayStation 4. He did this because of how much he admired the content and the overall vibes that day, which is crazy. However, there's an NBA player that does not like Cash that much, and that's Kevin Durant. So back in 2016, we all know that KD made the infamous decision. Of course, KD don't like Cash that And join the team that he grew up on the Golden State Warriors. Therefore, no one is a big LeBron fan. I wonder do Cash still got these LeBron sheets. Cash Nasty hated this move and actually he cursed at still sleep on Twitter. The same he said the following, to this day. You must be a if you choose to be on a 73-9 winning team and betray your friends to your rivals. You blew a 3-1 lead and joined them shaking my head. Honestly, Cash is speaking facts right here and I cannot be even mad at what he said. However, know how emotional KD can become sometimes. He responded to these comments in an LSK video. KD, how do you deal with slander on Twitter from like Cash Nasty, the big YouTuber? How do you deal with it? If you are on a break, do you know Cash Nasty? I know you. I know you too. All these cats, boy. 
Yeah. YouTuber? Yo. Yo. I see y'all, man. You see me, Chris London? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I know you cannot really take much from that clip, but you can still see, like, Katie's body language. That he was salty as heck. And yeah. he he feels that way. that way. With that in mind, Kathy, of course, ended up despising Katie even more for the upcoming years, and even had this reaction in an NBA Finals game. However, it's all good with Cash. At least there's other NBA players that still appreciate the man, with De'Aaron Fox being one of them. Back in 2017, LSK was invited to an NBA event and got to meet some of the best young players in the league. That's when out of nowhere, he got the opportunity to interview De'Aaron Fox and he asked him the following question. Who's your favorite YouTuber, buddy? Um, Cash Nasty. <laughs> That's actually crazy to see, and ever That's since this happened, Cash and Fox have collaborated in a ton of videos. Still, let's not forget that Fox did say this once about Cash Nasty's jump shot. It's funny because you used to not flick your wrist. Wow. So you actually been watching my jump shot and you can take it. So it's funny because I used to not flick my wrist with the fact I flick my wrist. Why can't you just give me some props, bro? Huh? And you guys hit up the air and man. So how can you get, you get cash and props, man? You know that jumper look wet like water. You know it was wet. Come on! Sally, though, that's not the only time that an NBA player has criticized Cash Nasty. Early this year, House of Palace posted in a $100,000 game of knockout. Knowing that he was from the top of the key, Cash of course participated, and even though he did lose, he still gave it his all. However, before the competition, he legend Dwayne Wade has some interesting words to say about Cash Nasty's jump shot. Ooh, Cash Nasty, that jumper is nasty. It's nasty, but you know what? It's quick. That's one of those jumpers it's nasty. It's hard to defend because you don't, he's not loading up. You can't really tell when he's going to shoot it because once he gets into the motion, it's gone. So, from the looks of it, Cash Nasty, I got to give you my six. Yeah, this actually happened, and when Cash saw this, he could not believe it. From the looks of it, Cash Nasty, yeah. I got to give you my six. Six way! Have you seen Zach shot? Bro, come on, bro. He got a six shot, bro. And it's still moving my shot, bro. Come on, Wade. Don't do me like that, Wade. Come on, man. Oh, six. However, that oh, idea six. is not as crazy as the time that LeBron James actually recognized Cash during a Lakers game. So back in October of 2018. Man, because this is what Cash really been wanting his whole life. Angels Lakers face off. I didn't even know Lakers what was this. Home. For context, this was just the third Lakers game of LeBron James, and of course, Cash had to pull up. After getting rejected multiple times in the past, he wished that he would finally get recognized by his favorite player, and well, this happened. Create a professional logo. That best reflects your life. Y'all count that. Just go. counting that? Not only that, but if you look at this clip right here, LeBron also looked right at Cash for a few seconds, which is crazy. Yes, I know LeBron still has not said anything directly to Cash like he did with RDC, but at least this was a step in the right direction. Now, did you know that there's a rookie that actually called out Cash 1v1? Well, let's go back to the day of the 2022 NBA draft. Ellis Kane once again was invited to this event and got to meet a lot of the upcoming rookies. However, while being at the elevator, things got pretty crazy. Here, he got to meet the number 5 overall pick in the draft. In Jaden Ivy, and he asked him a very important basketball question about two heights. Out of two heights, who would you score the most points on? You're that guy. Yeah, appreciate it, man. That's the cap. Yes, I didn't really think he said, Cash Nasty, he said, off oh, rip. Mitchell or Jidel. Actually, Cash, if you're watching this right now, what do you think about this? <laughs> I'm really curious to hear a response, and hopefully, they can set up a 1v1 really soon. And talking about 1v1, he said, you know Cash that Nasty. Nasty all star Drew Holiday and actually performed really well. Well, let's go back to 2018. Seeking invited too hard to play Drew Holiday, and know how Cash is the pioneer of YouTube 1v1s, he had to pull his shot and challenge Drew Holiday to a 1v1. In this game, Cash was locked in, and outside of this possession right here, he went crazy. Ooh, he gave him a bucket. Cash, he gave you a bucket. He got you! You let him get to it! Yeah, you just saw the uh, Ashby do all the game. I don't remember that. Which is absolutely insane. Also, That's to make crazy. this even better, Drew Holiday also said this about Cash. This is fun. Hey, man. I know a little something about you now, dog. Who's that? You can hoop. 
He said he can hoop a little. He can hoop. All good. However, Cash Sally did not translate that when he played Julius Randle and even Glenn Davis. To be fair though, Cash was playing like a 6 foot 10 guys and you really cannot know what Glenn Davis before. So there's no excuse on what Lamelo did to too high back in 2017. Even though Cash did hold his own in these games and had some nice plays, Lamelo was still too much and dominant. Anyways, outside of this runs, Lamella has shown to be a big fan of Cash, especially the 2K videos that I used to post. Now, did you know that All-Star Trey Young and Rookie of the Year Scotty Barnes both said that Cash is nice at basketball? Well, let's start with Trey Young since it is an older occurrence. Back in 2019, Cash was filming a video where he DM NBA players his jump shot, and while knowing that Cash has known the man since the high school days, Trey Young responded pretty quickly to this message and said that the jump shot is well like water. And honestly, this has to be one of the biggest compliments ever, considering that Trey Young is one of the best three point shooters in the NBA. Now, with Scotty Barnes, he gave Cash some props in a recent LSK video. Here, he was asked to rate all of two high jumpers, and when it came to Cash Nasty, Scotty Barnes had this to say. Now I will say that was one of his cleaner jumps. My editor, uh, he picked that, <laughs> but that was that was a good form right there. That was a good form. He's been working on it. Yeah, that one looked good in that video. I'm gonna get from my eight with that one. Eight, okay. So pull up. It looked good in that. He he is good off the dribble. Not only that, but in that same video, Quentin Richardson also showed some love to Cash. Better shots. He got OG strong love oh. too. You got the crisp, the quick release on 2K. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. He got... <laughs> but he's deep out there. Well, like water. Water. And he off the box with I'm going to give him a 10. Ooh, a 10. Okay, Cash. That right there is really dope to see, and you have to give credit to Cash for improving over the years. I mean, he went from shooting like a rookie loss of ball to this. What? Like water? Tap the key, man. That's right, man. You know better. That's a huge glow up and you have to give a shout out once again to Cash for putting the work in. And now, before this video ends, I'm going to do some honorable mentions real quick. All these NBA players that I will be mentioning right now are additional players who Cash made in basketball events and as a result, recognize his YouTube channel. John Moran. What do you need me to do? Just, uh, that really Appreciate that, man. Keep making them shots out there, man. Love watching, man. Ready. Man, that's right. LeBron still trading. Hey, Carl Anthony Towns. Okay. He know everybody. Stacks. And lost the ball. We got the exact same tattoo artist. Hard art might not be the yours, but we have the best shooters on our team. You right, you got JJ. <laughs> you right. Uh, I'm the best defensive person on my team, and you right, and you the best defensive person on your team. Me and Drew, okay. pretty, pretty even. Okay, okay. Are all players that Cash was able to collaborate with, and that's late. Now, with that being said, I do have a question. If you're watching this video, Cash, is there any future collabs with NBA players? That would be really fun to watch, and they would definitely do numbers. Anyway, shout out to Cash once again for the amazing content over the years and for getting recognition from yeah, the Yeah, he showed just on the championship, players. though. I saw that. I was beginning. supposed to react to that, but I did this video. What do you guys think of Cash Nasty? Which NBA player on this list had the funniest reaction? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Anyways, man, that's going this off. Shout out to my guy, Legends Productions, man. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.